Hello friends, this is a quick little video. I uh, had a few requests uh, to discuss uh, recipes in Alpha 14, etc. Since they've changed the recipe format. Um, so this is for you, Lynn. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, very quick and easy. So uh, first off, you want to go to your Steam game shortcuts or your, your at, wrong monitor, your Steam game. And you'll pick, oh, just get rid of some of those screenshots. Okay, so in your data folder and in your config directory, you'll find your recipes.xml file. So this is quick and easy. I'm going to right click and edit it. I'm going to edit in uh, Notepad++. It's a free text editor. It's really awesome. I'll zoom it up here, make it a little wee bit bigger for you to see. So it's very straightforward. Uh, one of the questions was the um, ember piles. So basically any block or item that exists can be, can have a, a recipe to make it. So for example, if you want a recipe to make air, <laughs> you could, or make, uh, you could, you could have a recipe that made a filled water um, bucket out of dirt so it doesn't really care. It does, the game doesn't care what you use to make the thing. So anyway, any block item. So you want it, the name is what you need to have. Uh, so for example, uh, an insecure ammo storage box. If you want to make that, you would just copy that over here. Go to your recipes file. I uh, usually stick all mine at the end. You want to make sure that you put it above the closing recipes tag and you'll want one of these recipe nodes. So a recipe node, you can just duplicate this one, boom, change the name and just say it's made with one wood. So that would make you one of those uh, blocks, the storage ammo insecure version. And it would take in ingredients of that. So the ingredients themselves, basically in the old uh, alphas, uh, you had to specify a grid location, but now they've done away with the grid. The grid, it's all just the ingredient, which is going to be either a block or an item, and how many of them is going to be required. So uh, let's uh, get rid of this one. So just as an example, we have let's see, fu uh, the fur rug drywall block. Um, so we've got some rock small, some cement, and some animal hides. So you can specify how many and whatnot. Up here in the recipe itself, you got some attributes. So the, the name, which again references the block or the item that you're making. Then it's got the count, how many the recipe will produce. Um, if it's scrappable or not. If it's scrappable, then you can you just right-click it and say scrap, and you'll get something back. Um, you'll usually get usually get your ingredients back. Um, now, um, uh, the other items are the craft area and craft tool. So these two items, these two other attributes specify where it needs to be done. Like if it's going to be at a forge or at a campfire or at a workbench, you need to specify that. So you can go through here. So for example, it is workbench. Eh workbench uh, so craft area forge there uh, let's look for craft area craft area equals workbench let's search for that uh, isn't it workbench is it bench cement mixer cement mixer campfire forge oh none, none of them requires the workbench yet that's why uh right now the way they've got it set up in 14 is that none of the craft areas require basically the workbench duplicates your backpack so nothing is required but in the future it will be so anyway we saw we saw a cement mixer campfire and forge in there so you specify the the craft area and then the tool so for example here's a beaker is required to make antibiotics um here, there's no, there's no uh, items required to make the anvil. Um, craft area assembly. That's the assembly bench, like for guns, uh, etc. So that's what it's required to put an auger together or a gun together. Uh, baked potatoes requires a cooking grill. 
Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Blackberries require cooking pot, for example. So I think that makes some good sense. Now you can have, um, let's see, let's find, let's find, like you've got the calipers, the tool guy, here's cal calipers required. Um, and obviously uh, you need to have like, you know, the anvil for the bullet tips. Um, now I don't know, I haven't tested if you can put a comma here and, and specify multiple tools. I'm thinking you can, but I have not actually tested. So I, I'm, I'll leave that up to you guys to play with if you want to. But you can see it's, it's very straightforward and very easy to do this. So it's all about the recipes XML file. Now, the one thing to remember is the recipes XML file is downloaded from a server to the client so that if you are playing, uh, for example, on uh, the white run server, you will get the copy of the recipes um, automatically when you log into the server to make all the custom recipes but that'll override your local copy. So if you make your own recipes and then you log on to uh, someone's server and they've got custom recipes or even stock recipes, it'll be replaced. So keep that in mind. Um, if you are modding your game a lot, like for example, if you're playing with the Val mod pack or something like that, and you want to join a server, what I would recommend doing is making a duplicate copy of your game itself, like the whole seven days of die folder. So you have two different copies and then playing with the Val mod on one and playing on servers and with friends on the other, that'll keep things nice and clean. So, um, I hope that, I mean, it, it's really not much to it. So, um, again, the Ember pile three, I think it is. Yep. I created the, oh, they actually have all of the Ember piles in. Um, so Ember pile one, two, three, and four, uh, it goes from smallest to largest and this, you know, it's coal and wood. It's simple. I mean, it should technically use more, uh, to get the bigger ones, but, uh, meh. And the Ember pile itself is a block. Let's look over here just to show you guys how that works. Cause there were some questions about that as well. So it has a buff on it. Uh, or is it Ember Pile 1? Got the, yeah, it's Ember, Ember Pile 1 has the buff. Burning small. So if you look in your buffs file, and you look for burning small, you can see that it does damage over time of 2 and 1. And how long does it last for? It lasts for so it lasts for ten ticks, and or ten, yeah, probably ten in-game seconds, and it, at a rate of minus two health per tick through, so it'll do twenty points of damage basically. And you could adjust that if you wanted to, like you could add burning instead, which is uh, one hundred and fifty points of damage overall. So that's fifteen and ten. So if you wanted to make your your amber piles even more awesome you could uh use for example you could go in here and change it from burning small to just burning and it'd be more dangerous or you could make your own block like copy this whole block and call this uh let's go down here to the very end i paste it in here make this 2018 and we'll call it um ember pile zeds and we'll make it make it uh, burning like that. Uh, I'll give it a custom icon. Copy that. Boom. And we'll give this an ember pile one. And I go into my recipes. Copy this. And we'll go down to the very end. Duplicate. Paste that in there. Wood. Let's go 20. Coal. Let's do five. And just like that, we've got a new block in the world um, that has that full burn effect. So that'll kill the zombies off really fast. So if you want a, a very simple way of killing zombies, that's a very simple way of killing zombies. Uh, now, the other thing about um, these is they do not add to the uh, heat map. 
And if you wanted these to add to the heat map, so if there's so basically it makes it a danger to actually use them. If you go up to uh, uh, Gore, do they still have that on there? Next, uh, do they have that adding? to the heat map. Yep, there's the heat map. So you want to use the gore rather than a fire pit because the, the campfires uh, and forges add to the heat map every time they consume something. They consume uh, um, one of the, like a wood or coal or whatever. So you want to use the, use it like this, um, heat map strength and time so that it'll add up. Um, so, so example, heat, heat map frequency constrained to, is to on blocks that are not tile entities like the forge or campfire. So, um, so again, you can play with this and affect it. So anyway, you could make your own little trap that was a little different. So I hope that answers your guys' questions about the recipes. If you have more questions, put them in the comments below and I'll answer them. But for now, it's been wrong with the bold. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.